Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be creating this smoked out glam for you guys. So if you want to achieve this look, please keep watching. So we're starting off with a clean face with no makeup on. I am prepping my lips with the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. It's amazing guys, really hydrating. So now we're going to be prepping our lids. So I'm going to be using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And I'm going to disperse the product all over my lids to prime my lids before we put on the shadows. I'm using a brush to really blend it out and then using my fingers to further just disperse the product. I'm using the Micro Spruce Baked Foundation Powder by Sephora Collection. I just use any face powder to just set my primer on my lids. So now it's time for brows. I am using the Cabrow by Benefit in number five for my brows today. It is a cream gel, so it's very similar to the Dip Brow by Anastasia. The only difference is this comes with a brush and I feel like this Consistency is just a bit more smoother, I would say, because it gives you like that creamy but powdery finish, which I really like. And the brush is very precise, so as you can see, this is really good to define your brows. And it's also waterproof, so you won't have to worry about it budging, which is amazing. So you can see that difference right there. Before and after, and now I'm just doing the same thing to the other brows. And I like using a spoolie to just comb it out so it looks more natural. To define my brows, I'm using the Anastasia's Highlighting Duo Pencil. I'm using the matte shade, which is matte camille, I believe. And I'm just using that on the top and bottom of my brows to further define it so it looks sharper. As you can see, this is my finalized brow routine. I will be using the Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced to achieve this look today. I'm really excited because it's the first time I'm using this palette, watching this palette, smelling this palette. It's really exciting because you're going to see my first impressions throughout this video. But first, I'm going to use a base color on my lids to really pop that smoky eye. And it's always important to use a base color first before you put your shadows for smoky eye so the colors stand out more. I'm using the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in the shade Plum. So it's like a nice deep plum tone, which I like because it's dark enough, but it's not too dark. So I'm just blending that out with the fluffy brush by Beach Cosmetics. And now we're gonna go back to our palette. So I'm using Tempting by Too Faced, which is like a nice shimmer black. And I'm just putting that all over my lids, as you can see right now. Make sure to not get it too high up. That is key so you don't look like you have a black eye. I'm using Summer Yum, which is a beautiful matte shade on my crease to blend out this look. I'm using a Sephora Collection Taper Crease Brush and applying that product on my crease and just really blending it out. By the way guys, this palette smells amazing, hence why I smelled it earlier. It honestly just smells like you're in Candyland, like it just puts you in a good mood. Guys, go out and smell this palette, go to a Sephora and smell this palette if you haven't already. It smells amazing so now that is done as you can see but I'm gonna be going in with another palette I'm using the Anastasia's world travelers palette and I'm gonna be using the darkest black shade in that which is noir so just intensify the smoky eye I feel like the Too Faced shadow wasn't as dark as it should be that's the one downside the black but it has like a nice sheen to it which I like so I'm gonna go back again with the same tempting shade from Too Faced and put it back on top and blend everything out. Now I'm going to add in a little glitter for spraying my brush with Fix Plus by MAC and placing that glitter on my lid. I'm using Space Cowboy from Urban Decay. And this is just to intensify my smoky eye and give it that glam. You don't have to do this, it is optional. But I like that glam, so I'm gonna add that up. And I'm gonna go in back with Noir and just intensify my smoky eye on the ends and the inner teardrop area to give it a soft halo effect. So that's what I'm doing right now. So that is how it looks so far. Make sure to not get it too high up as I said before. Now I'm going in with a clean fluffy brush and blending it out but I'm going to use concealer to clean out my brow bone 
so that way the whole look kind of gets put together and doesn't look too messy. Now I'm going in with the same brush and just blending it out further. Now I'm using nectar from the palette on my brow bone and using mascara before I apply on lashes. I'm just tight lining my upper rim using the Sephora Collection Retractable Waterproof Eyeliner in number one, which is a classic black. As you can see, only one of my eyes have lashes on. I just want to show you how big of a difference lashes do make for this look. I use Sephora Collection's Mink Lashes. And now I'm using Laura Mercier's Radiance Primer to prime my skin before foundation. And for foundation today, I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick in the shade Warm Beige. I love this foundation. I'm using their Allocated Foundation Brush to blend it out in circular motions. It's full coverage, it's hydrating, it just gives you that airbrush seamless finish. And now to set it, I'm using the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Foundation Powder in number 35, I believe, to even out my skin. And I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC25 to highlight my under eyes, bridging my nose, forehead, just right under the contour area. This kind of gives it a soft, highlighted effect right in time for actual contouring. And you can see it just brightens up your face just like that. I'm using a beauty blender to blend out everything, to dab it out. And now I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. This comes in a big size, so it's really worth your price, guys. It's very similar to the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I really like it, especially if you have dry skin, this powder is your go-to. And now I'm going to be waterlining my eyes using the same Sephora Collection liner in number one block and using the other side of the liner to smudge it out. Once I check that both sides are even, I'm using just in my inner tear duct area and then I'm using the Tartiest Mascara by Tarte for my lower lashes. Now I'm swiping away the Kat Von D powder and that is how my eyes look as the final result. And now on to contour! So I'm going to start off by using Lyric, which is the banana shade on highlighting my peak areas and then using Shadow Play as my main contour color on my cheekbones and around my forehead area and my jawline. And use a little at a time. Don't, don't put too much product at once because that's how it gets chalky. And now on to blush. I'm using the NARS blush in Gulu. To further intensify my contour, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow Palette in number 2. I'm using the contour and the highlight I'm actually using as a blush as it is a little dark for me. But for actual highlight, I'm using the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. I'm going in with the shade Lit with my BH Cosmetic Fan Brush, which is a beautiful gold tone. Using the same color on the bridge of my nose as well. And going in with the shade Stunner which is a lighter highlight color to further intensify my highlight. Usually when I wear liquid lipsticks, I do not use lip liner. I feel like my lips don't need lip liner because the product itself is very pigmented. But the choice is yours. If you feel like you want lip liner, then you can use it. I'm using Sepia by Anastasia first as a base. And then I'm going in with Pure Hollywood by Anastasia as well to give me the perfect nude tone. Then I'm using Buxom's Lip Gloss in White Russian to further plump up my lips to give it a glossy effect. This is optional, you can keep it matte, but I want a gloss in this look. And that is my final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this look. But what should I wear? Hmm, I am so extra. <laughs> So now this is a finalized look, but I think it's time for me to talk face to face with you guys. So here I come! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I created a classic smoky eye with a nude lip. So this is a look. Ironically, I did use the Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced. So I did use this for the first time, so I was really excited. And my first impression for this palette, um, number one, it smells amazing. I can literally smell this all day. It just smells like pure candy land or something like it's 
just amazing. It just puts you in a good mood, especially in the morning. If you're like grumpy or if you're just not a morning person, you just want to get ready. This smell will literally just like make your day. It will literally just make you happier. You guys have to smell it to know what I'm talking about, but the colors are very nice. I mean, they give you a good variety. They do have the classic peachy tones, but I really like the the darker tones especially. It gives you a mix of matte colors and shimmer. Um, I didn't use all of the colors. As you can see, this look is more of a smoked out look. So I used the ones near the end, but um, luscious. Nectar, white peach, um, tempting is like the black, the main color. Summer yum. And yeah, those are the colors I did use. Let me just swatch tempting, which is the main color I use. It is very pigmented. Um, but I did kind of mix this look with another black from Anastasia's palette. Although it's very dark and pigmented I felt like I needed a little bit of more black so I did use the dark shade um the black shade actually called more from the Anastasia's World Travelers palette just to add in a bit more dimension to the shadows and um honestly I just love this transition color which is summer yum it's just so beautiful it's um what I used on my crease area as you can see overall no complaints for this palette so far um, um the smell just kind of tops everything the smell makes it pleasant for the nose and the colors make it pleasant for the eyes I feel like this is a universal palette that really just gives you a good um, variety of colors the one thing I don't really like is the packaging. I feel like it's not as professional looking as other palettes, but it seems durable and it comes with a mirror, so that's always a bonus. Overall, I would give this palette um, an 8.85 out of 10. Yeah, I know, I'm very precise, but um, yeah, so that's my quick review on the palette. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or even any requests, make sure to leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching.